A little earlier in the year, we landscaped this verge to help draw the garden out. Well, it was so popular that now everybody in the street wants one. So I thought this was the perfect occasion to get creative with some natives. The guys have done a lot of the hard work for me. They've ripped the grass up and got rid of the roots. But when you're putting your planning permission in for your verge garden, you want to check with council, because some councils will actually do the hard work for you. Now, they're not doing this because they've got lots of time on their hand. They want to protect the underground services. We've got NBN here, which we didn't have in the last verge. If you're unsure, get yourself a dial before you dig, and it will tell you exactly where all the services are. The one plant we can't get rid of is this Acacia cognata. Now, the owners planted it to give them some privacy from the front door, and it can be kept under the required one metre. I'm going to use it as the focal point and the centre of the design for the rest of the verge planting around. Using natives ties in perfectly with the plants in the front garden as well. Every verge garden needs access to the street. And for our path, I'm just doing something quite narrow. It's only going to be about 600 mil wide, but that's going to give us the access we need. I'm then going to do an L shape, so we've got an area for the bins as well. I've dug out my path a little bit deeper than you normally would if you were just using gravel. I've gone to about 80 to 100 mil. The reason I've done that is because I'm using this. This is a reinforcing cell. You just lay it down like that, and it stops it from feeling heavy and squishy when you walk on it. I'll trim it up to shape. Gravel goes straight on top. I've said it before with these projects, but the most important part is to check with your council. I have gone one better today, and I have got the local mayor, Darcy Byrne, to come and give us the lowdown. Darcy, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Very well, thank you. What do you think of our dirt patch? I think you're doing a terrific job in beautifying this street, and we want to see more of this right throughout the inner west. Oh, fantastic. And what does it give to the street when people change their verges into planting? Well, there's just so many benefits. Partly, it's about reducing the heat island effect, so it makes our neighbourhoods cooler. And when you can get whole streets getting behind it, it makes it a, a nicer place to be. What are some of the regulations you've got here? Well, essentially, we just want residents to come and approach the council mm -hmm. to fill in a couple of forms to let us know what they're doing, make sure that we don't interfere with any pipes that might be underneath of the course, footpath, yeah. so it's all done safely. And after that, it's away you go. Which brings me to this path, which is half done. Yep. That needs some gravel on top. Yep. Have you got chains to polish, or can you give me a hand with some gravel? It's so crazy how simple it can be. Well, Mayor, thank you for your help. I'll be giving everybody your mobile number so they can call you and you can come around and offer the same service. Absolutely. I'd better get off to my next job. OK, <laughs> you do that. Watch out, there'll be a Mayor's Mowing franchise soon. Mayor's Skip Bins, Mayor's Verge Garden, the whole lot. And only someone It's like we've always got a billion things to say because we've got grass next to our new verge garden, I don't want that growing in and ruining the look. So I'm just putting in a really simple edge. It's metal, it sits down there, prevents any of the rhizomes growing through, and I'll just pin it down with pegs later on. Just because this is a native garden bed doesn't mean you don't have to improve the soil. I'm digging through some compost to hold on to water and nutrients, but by using a fork as well, it just frees up the ground so the plants are going to establish really easily. One of the benefits of a native verge garden is it supplies wildlife with food and habitat. Here, we've got a wide variety of plants, and I've tried to make sure there's always going to be a flower or a seed. Not only is that good for the insects, but it looks nice too. Native plants have some of the most incredible flowers. Take a look at this Leptospermum. It's called Pink Cascade, and it's absolutely stunning. There's also the native violet over there. Now, that's an absolute winner for any garden. It can grow in sun, it can grow in shade, and the flowers are actually edible. The 
We all know Australia is an enormous country, and with that comes this huge variety of plants, like the Western Australian kangaroo paw. I love this little variety called bush zest because it's just got a vibrant yellow flower. An endemic plant, which basically means it's local to the area, is this hardened bergia. It gets a purple pea flower, but it can actually be grown as a ground cover or even a climber. Just because this planting scheme is 100% native doesn't mean it's maintenance free. Even natives require additional food to look their best. Just make sure you use a native fertilizer that's low in phosphorus. Once that's done, just apply some mulch and you're done. Well, all right.